In the last video, we created this nice image gallery using the same image over and over again, this image of the arch. In this video, we're going to talk about a very important subject when it comes to image galleries, and that is aspect ratio. Now, the reason these all line up really nicely is because, of course, the image has the same aspect ratio. But what happens if you introduce an image that has a different aspect ratio? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video and the ways you can handle aspect ratios. And there really is only one way that I ever suggest. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and close this out and I'm going to go ahead and minimize our code here for a second. And here is the image, the new image that we're going to introduce into our image gallery. And it is this image of the Waldorf. And let's go ahead and hit the properties of this. And by the way, of course, I will add the link to this image if you want to use this in this lecture. So let's go ahead and look at the properties and we're going to go ahead and hit details. And you can see here the dimensions of this are 950 by 1488. Now let's go ahead and look at the arch that we've been using. And we'll take a look at that right here. And this is 590 by 768. Now, if we introduce this photo, which we're going to do here in a minute, it's probably going to throw off our image gallery. And that's not a problem with Bootstrap. That's just what happens if you introduce images that have different aspect ratios. So let's go ahead and pull our image of the Waldorf. And we'll stick this in our folder. And then let's go back to the code. And we're going to go ahead and specify that right here in the second slot. So we'll specify Waldorf right here. And let's go ahead and save this. And then we're going to go ahead and load this up. And take a look what happened here. Our second row now is thrown off. Bootstrap actually had to move everything to the right, these images, rather than starting it over here because this image now is taking up too much space. So what we have to do is change the aspect ratio of this image to match our arch image. Now, as I mentioned, there's a couple different ways to do this. The first way is simply to resize the image using Photoshop or some website. We're actually going to use a website and I'll show you how to use that in a second. The second option and the least preferred option is actually to use CSS code. Now, you might ask, well, why wouldn't we just use CSS code? The reason is, is that will slow down the load times of your web page. And especially when you're dealing with images, you always want to really resize them beforehand rather than have CSS do that because again, Again, that will slow down your page load. So what we're going to do is go ahead and resize this. Now, again, as I mentioned, there's several different websites where you can do that. The one I used for this video is resizeimage.net. And I've actually used this site before, and it's pretty good. It does a really good job in terms of resizing images. So the first thing you want to do if you're going to follow along is use this option number one here. You're going to go ahead and upload the image. You don't need to worry about these other options, two or three but you do need to worry about option number four. So what you're gonna do here for this Waldorf image is put in 598 by 768 right here, and you're gonna go ahead and deselect the keep aspect ratio. Then you're gonna go down here and resize the image. And once you have your newly resized image, we can go ahead and copy it into our website folder. In this case, I just named it Waldorf1. And let's go ahead and just make sure that the property details are correct. And they are. Take a look. Now it's 598 by 768. So let's go ahead and copy this into our website folder. We'll close that out. We'll go back to our code. And of course, we need to put a one here for our newly resized image. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's reload this. And now everything should work really nicely. And take a look at that. Everything is perfect. See how that works? So again, the preferred method is always to resize your image using Photoshop or some editor rather than having your CSS code do that. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.